cuando quiera, princesa. This is Ben Lechuga, and we're here today to check out the Howard Benson vocal plugin. It's by Joey Sturgis Tones. And what I like the most about this plugin is that within one plugin, you've got the full chain of, of effects you would need to make your vocals sound amazing, you know? Um, so, as you can see here, you've got it, it looks like a 500 series rack. And you've got the vocals. It's probably this is a, a preamp and a compressor. You've got the EQ here, a multiplier, uh, width. It's like a stereo enhancer. Echo is a delay. You've got space. That's a reverb. And output. This is probably a limiter or something to push the vocals. You know, right to the top to squish them. <clears throat> and we're gonna go. Um, effect by effect, checking out the difference that we can make. Uh, you already uh, heard in the song that you can go through very different and, and 
um, crazy sounds with just this plugin and I did, did some automation. I also did some tweaking on the spot right there with the read and write um, functions from Cubase. And we're gonna go on and listen to the vocals by themselves. And let's see how this works. Okay, so we're gonna start with this part that this intro bit that I used this lo-fi effect and it sounds like this. So you get that, like we do that a lot. The lo-fi vibe you always want and you always get to but here it's just so easy. It's just pressing one button and you're there. I never thought I miss my Monday. I wake up early. Before I just had to open a filter and filter out the high end, the low end, add some distortion. It's three, four, five different step, steps to get this. And here you have it with only one button. Very, very handy. Let's start looking at this, the vocals part. You have an input. Wake up early, no time for breakfast, go to work. Tuesday, a little workout, a smelly gym with no ace. You can actually go very high in the input and it still sound, sounds nice. We have this tube warmth button as well. I see, I guess that's old news now. Very nice for rock vocals. You get you can get that kind of uh, analog distortion now out of this preamp with that, that tube warmth um, button. And then here you have a gain reduction for the compressor. Oh, up. I need a reason to get out of bed. I gotta find a way out my head to let the days go by and keep myself from. See, you can go very, very hard on the compressor and it doesn't distort in an ugly way. I love it how, how when sometimes you just push the compressor and although you have some distortion, it, it's something in the whole, that in the whole mix gives some attitude to the, to the track, you know? Like, for example, here. From Even have that grit uh, knob and it gives more distortion more attitude and you see I went all the way up with every knob I had and it sounded great so very easy to use and very versatile as well it can be clean vocals or it can get to heavier distorted sounds very very cool let's go ahead and check out the EQ so once again we're gonna mute the vocals I mean, I, we're gonna solo the vocals, sorry. Follow the list and don't buy treats. Thursday, I'm in a hurry. Nowhere to go and I'm late, late, late. When I ever try a new plugin, I like going for the extremes, you know? Full gain and uh, infinite zero gain or however you call it. Uh, so you can really know where this plugin can lead you and and Every one of the positions of the knobs here have I can find a use for them. You know, it's not like they're there and you're never going to use them. Okay, so here it's how much of gain you add and to what frequency. I've got the around 8k here. Then you have a middle, a mids um, frequency. I have it around 2800. We're almost done. Let's celebrate and get some drinks. Very cool. And low frequencies. I barely touched that one. Uh, you can go from 30 up to 450. You can use it before the compressor. You can have a high pass filter and of course the amazing lo-fi um, button we were talking about earlier. I guess that was Work now. I just love it. I'm gonna use that so much. 
Well, here we have a multiplier, and let's see what, what it does. Um, it, it gives an offset to the vocals, and how much? It's very simple, only two knobs. Ow! Locked up! I need a reason to get out of bed! Okay, that sounds like two different persons singing and not very in sync, <laughs> but I'm sure you can get some nice uses. For example, in, in this uh, part of the song, I used the multiplier and it sounded pretty great. It's more like an ambient part. <laughs> That kind of stuff it works great very very cool um, the width option here is like a stereo enhancer and and it gives some kind of a stereo image to the sound and you can listen to this right now hey, I'm in a hurry. No way to go and I'm Guess that won't work now. Very cool, very cool. So this song has only one uh, vocal track, and probably I will use the width um, controls for backing vocals to spread them to the sides while the main vocal stays in the middle. That would be very, very cool. Uh, next knob is the echo. It's basically a delay. I love delay. I'm not too much of a reverb guy, but of course, both of them have their pros and cons. But let's check out this delay, because it's very simple. I've got it synced to the song's tempo, it's 150, and I've got it to quarter notes. We're almost done. Let's celebrate and get some drinks. I'm just turning off the width. I guess that won't work. It has mono and stereo modes, and I like this one. I like the lo-fi. Once again, sorry for <laughs> repeating myself, but it's very cool to have a delay with the lo-fi uh, repetition, because that way it, it doesn't bother the main vocal. I love doing that. I always filter a lot the, the delays, because if not, it just sounds of a repetition of the same thing, and, and it can be pretty annoying, and, and it can distract you from the original vocal. So you just want to add some space with the delay. You don't want. Keep myself from feeling locked up. I need a reason to get out of bed. See, it repeats, and it gets confusing. But when you put the lo-fi um, button, then the repetition is different. It has less high end, and that way you've got your. You can add more delay without bothering the main vocal, and I think that's just brilliant. Very cool, very cool. Now we're getting into the reverbs. Okay, it can go from a huge space to a little su subtle um, reverb and I like that. I probably used a little reverb on this track. I don't remember right now, but probably just a little and more delay. Locked up. I need a reason to get out of bed. I gotta find a way out my head to let the days go by and keep my By the way, we're going to try now to bypass all of the Howard Benson vocals chain and see how the raw vocals sounded like. Keep from feeling locked up. I need a reason. 
They sound good. They sound really good. Well, Alice is an amazing singer, but there, once you put the, the plug in, when you set it on, uh, it, it just grows and it has life. It, it has all the delays and the um, compressor and the EQ give a very beautiful life to, to the vocal track. And keep myself from going down. Get back to my endless loop. <laughs> very, very cool. And now we just need to check out the output. And this is basically a limiter. <laughs> But the cool thing is that you can limit the vocals before the effects, I mean, before the echo and the space. Um, uh, and it just works very, very good. No. Actually, that sounds great. I love it because if you do it after the effects, the world is changing for everyone, but I'm only... That's too much, you know, too much, because you're going up as well with the effects. You don't want to do that. Only human, it's 8 p.m. Time to scream. Very cool. Very cool. What do you think? I mean, usually to do something like this, it would take me hours because you need to put a preamp, a compressor, an EQ, maybe a stereo image enhancer, uh, chorus, uh, delay, reverb, a limiter. I'm saying eight different plugins that you'll need to load on your DAW. And first of all, your computer is going to suffer. Second, it gonna, it's going to take you so much longer. I mean, this plugin is really, really fun, really easy to use, and it gives great results. And at the end, that's what we're looking for, right? So it was really, really cool to check out this plugin for you guys. Uh, I hope you could take something of this, try it yourself. It's very, very cool, and your vocals definitely will, will stand out in the mix just the way you want it. Uh, I hope you're staying safe and healthy and stay at home as much as you can. Bye.